Hello Gunpla fans, this is Joe of Joe's Gunpla here with a video. I am moving soon, so that means my Gundam Sanctuary has to come with me. Um, so I thought I'd go through and just kind of show it off one last time. Um, I will be doing a few videos on how I intend to pack up Gunpla. Hopefully it'll help someone who's planning on moving a large collection. Um, and, yeah, so, I also have a little surprise, um, in the works. I'm going to go ahead and tell you what it is, so it's not really a surprise. But, what I plan on doing is getting on film my entire built collection in some fashion. I'll probably have to do it in sections, like all of my high-grade UC, all of my wing kits, etc., etc., so, um, I guess we'll start off with my main display shelf. I want Shenlong finished before I take this down, but that's not going to happen because it has a broken part, and Gente kits had their parts service um, suspended for a bit. But he's all painted, just need the shoulder joint replaced, which has been broken since, like, before Christmas. There's that. And then the shelf above it, I have sort of a battle scene going on with some MSIA Leos, the limited model Taurus, and the 1 to 1 44 scale wing kits that I finished a few years back. And I've also got the Robot Damashi. Leos that I bought. And you can see that these guys here um, quite a bit taller than they should be if you're going to call them 1 to 144 scale. So anyone interested in collecting the Robot Damashi figures just know that they're not in scale with the models. And then down here I've got a lot of manga books and such. All related to Gundam. The original uh, Viz, I believe it was Viz, line of the origin. The Yonic Front official guide. That's pretty much that. We got a couple of uh, Hobby Japan, Dengeki magazines that came with uh, parts. Moving on, we got a got a whole bunch of posters that I printed out um, from the Walmart uh, photo center when I worked there. This one here is one of my favorites. You know, that quintessential moment when Lala dies and they all kind of have an instantaneous new type reaction. The poster below the uh, Gelgoog there I'm gonna. Not, I'm not gonna show that one all the way, but it's basically all of the main female characters nude, you know, just a group pose. Um, Troa's clown mask. Actually, I realized after I had made it in my ceramics class in high school that I made it on the wrong side of the face, but I got it and I made it myself, and I thought that was pretty cool. Infinite Justice Girl, Phil, focus. Da -da, focus. And there we go, kind of. One of my favorite images of the Sazabi 
I don't know who made that uh, computer image, but they did an amazing job. Damage Zaku in space. I think it's actually an F2. And I don't know who took this picture and, and modified it, but someone did like a modified Gundam Mark II 2.0 Master Grade. And they had photoshopped it with the earth in the background and everything. And it says out of body experience with the pilot just kind of floating out. I don't know who did that, but that was amazing, so I decided I needed to print it out as well. Um. My workbench and desk area is a mess, but there's a display of most of my tools and such, markers and whatnot. My laptop, some unfinished kits that I'm working on, or had been working on, that need to be packed up now. Some uh, isopropyl alcohol and all that stuff, some spray paint, blah blah blah. Very nice drink. Caro plot that I had finished. Um, another poster here, and uh, the box underneath that holds the Epion parts. Unfinished breakfast. And now, what everyone has been really wanting to see. I'm going to try and go through all of this as best I can. Let's see here. This is a box full of various action bases. Uh, this is where I keep uh, spare parts and junk. This holds some um, resin casting materials that I'll probably never get to. Down here is all my bootleg stuff. You can barely see it because it's kind of dark. And I've got Robot Damashis and um, HCM Pro stuff. And a cat. One to one forty four scale wing stuff that's incomplete. Lulu, get out of here. Go. Oh, barely see it, but back there is the 1 to 288 scale collection. And tucked way back in there, I've got a Bandai High New Master Grade, a Bandai um, Unicorn and MS Cage, and a Bandai VO Master Grade. They're just too big to fit up top anywhere. Some more bootlegs. You can barely see them. There's a uh, full burst mode, um, strike freedom, master grade, uh, TT Hongli. These are all TT. No, I guess not. Anyway, uh, high new TT, the uh, Johnny Ridden Zaku 2 2.0 TT Hongli, Dragon Momoko, um, Epion. Like I said, a couple of Robot Damashis, and there's one of the Leo boxes. Some HCM Pros, got the Dom set, and I have a cat that won't go away, he's being a dick. Okay. <laughs> really? You're just going to lay there in the middle of my shot? Really? That's a cat for you. I think they own the place. Come on, buddy. Get up. Go. Oh, let's see. TT Hongli Titanium Finish Unicorn. Um, Shin Matsunaga Zaku 2 2.0 Infinite Justice Strike plus IWSP. Let's see. 
model compre comprehend high new Gundam high grade with the uh, special parts. Uh, TT Exia, TT Sinanju, model comprehend high grade new Gundam. Dragon Momoko Death Scythe, the blue crystal version. And then we get into actual Bandai stuff. Just all the bottom is my bootleg crap. Uh, oh, let's see. Real Grade Freedom, Real Grade Ale Strike, uh, Gin Type, uh, High Maneuver 2, The Pink Zaku Warrior. The Gundam Seed Custom Kit, and a bunch of the H, the remastered high grades, and that continues on up this way into the Age FX and One Astray, etc., etc. Hopefully, you guys can see kind of what I've got going on here. High grade Double O, uh, high grade Exia is tucked up behind that uh, wooden bar that you can barely see it. Uh, let's see. Real Grade Justice, he's built, I haven't put the stickers on, um, a bunch of the high grade, um, oh wait, the mess team kits, another Real Grade Strike Gundam, I have a Goku Master Grade Figure Eyes, the Thousand Sunny, um, I think those are like the only two uh, non-Gundam kits that are in here. Some unfinished age stuff. And some SDs. Coming on back down this way. Uh, endless Waltz kits. All the boxes for the Master Grade wing kits. Um, the Epion that's in progress. Um, Easy 8. Ale Strike. Uh, the high grade, or the no grade, rather. GPO 1, turn A. Hyzak. The Hyzak, I actually only got him because I wanted the... Well, I, you guys know I want to collect everything, but um, I really wanted him for the yellow beam saber blades that I'm going to use with the O, so he has a set of four. So, yeah. Um, Johnny Ridden, Zaku 2, the original version. Two of the original RX-78-2 Master Grades. The Unicorn, Banshee, I thought that was finished. I don't know why he's down here. I'm not going to mess with it right now. Anyway, Zaku 2... That's the NT1, but it's going to be used for that box there, which is the um, Mudrock conversion kit. A couple more of the original 08 The Mess Team high grades. A resin kit of Lala Soon. I'm just going to kind of pan down here. That's the HD version. Uh, with the silver decals. Shars Rick Dom, Mark II, Yakushiki with Bellut, Victory Dash, Rezzel, I always forget that I own a Rezzel. I think I bought them on sale just because I decided I kind of needed to get one at some point. And I always forget that I have him. Um, the Impulse, the Sword Impulse, he's actually mostly finished, but I was painting the uh, the plane that delivers the parts. And I forget what it's called. And uh, so that's the only part that's not done on him. And of course my... Banshee. Another Bandai Epion. Not sure what I want to do with him. I think I'm going to turn him into the pie. Okay. 
Okay, let's see. Tucked way back here in the corner. Oh, you can barely see it, but Master Grade Zeong, Gun Tank, G Fighter, Black Tri-Star Zucker 2, 2.0, Full Armor Gundam, and uh, Crossbone, Full Cloth. I'm going to go back up to the next shelf. These are all unbuilt kits, by the way, um, unless I've specified otherwise. Some Son Goku Den. I'm not a huge fan of these guys, but, I don't know, they're fun for a nice short distracting build and on those guys I actually will use the stickers just because they don't feel a need to make them perfect uh, that Zeta Gundam is the high gloss version uh, from one of the Gundam Expos that's the Mark II with flying armor if you can't tell with the stickers in the way Very small collection for double O right now. Just because I didn't really keep up with them as they were released. The high grade mechanic collection, I actually have all three. You can just barely see the Valvo, Valvolo, or whatever it was, the red one from double O83. But there's the Dendro and the New Zeal. That high-grade unicorn box actually just has um, a couple of the head displays. Uh, the kit is actually built. Oh, there's a non-Gundam, uh, the Vincent. And some Gunpla builders. Okay. Some of the original kits. Um, brow row, you can, I know it's dark, kind of hard to see. Um, there we go. Dob Days, uh, NT1 Alex, an unbuilt Leo, an unbuilt Taurus. Whenever I learn how to do some resin casting really well, I'm going to be making copies of those. I have three sets of the G Gundam bonus parts. I was going to do one for the hyper mode kits and one for the regular kits. And then I have a third set which is missing a few parts. It was sent to me by Robot for Less, all damaged and broken and missing stuff. So they sent me another one for free. That was cool. Um, the Garmin's Dop. I've actually got two more of those that I painted in um, OD Green. Core Booster. Uh, Big Row? I forget which one that is. That guy. Lots of balls. I've got balls. And gems. Lots of gems. Izaku 1. Which you can barely tell, because it's dark. Izaku 2. And that continues to the back here. With some of the ships and tanks and whatnot. And I think it actually goes one stack further back. Um, and I'll show that when I'm packing everything up. Now for the built stuff, I can't show you everything until it's out of the box. Because most of these have many, many kits in them. Let me see if I can find one easy to get at so I can show you what I mean here. Da, 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 da. Cat's in the way, gonna step on my cat. For example, high grade Toggies 3 is jam packed full of old, old wing kits that I built many, many years ago. 
But we've got two Epions and all three versions of the Tall Geese crammed into this box. That was before I started trying to take care of my stuff and, you know, treating them not like toys. But that's how a lot of my collection is. Just a bunch of stuff packed into one box because you gotta condense somehow. I know that, that G Armor has three RX 78 twos, uh, a couple gun tanks, a couple gun cannons, plus the G Armor. So that's. it's packed. But, like I said, over the next couple days I'm gonna be taking everything out of the boxes and give you a, a nice video pan of everything. That way you guys can see my entire collection. Well, until next time, happy building.